Hey family, welcome back to our channel. Hi. So today I'm going to walk you through what a typical physiotherapy appointment looks like for us. Please show us some love by clicking on the subscribe button if you haven't already. It makes a huge difference for us. So come along. Our typical day starts around 8 a.m. in the morning. We get her ready and dressed for hospital. She's enjoying the camera today. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're going to hospital. Going to hospital. Mm, going to hospital. Mm, going to hospital. The journey to hospital was about an hour's drive, so we managed to reach on time for our appointment. I'm glad I have a very supportive husband. A day like today is a day off for both of us, such that we, uh, we encourage Joy and we show her that she's not alone in this journey. We clock in at the reception and thereafter, we are ushered into her physiotherapy room where the session is going to take place. Hi. Hi. We do physios every once a week and make a follow up at home. Failing to stay active can accelerate symptoms of any disease, Thank including you. SMA. Baby Joy is a very good singer. Without these physios, we realize that there is an increase in joint pain. Oftentimes you find that the food is not properly digested. And then the, the muscles tend to tighten more. So we have to continuously do the physiotherapy to compensate for her limited range of movement. Oftentimes she's confined in a wheelchair or just seated and this causes the muscles to tighten. So like I said in the previous videos, if you haven't already, please check them out. She has a progressive disease so with the time her muscle strength keeps on reducing exercise just helps to slow down the muscle weakness as much as possible but it does not stop the disease from progressing that much you can even incorporate the two but for the startups it's so painful so let's first do it with one at a time and i'll stop it okay yeah. Sorry? Mm. Yeah. Forgive me? Mm. Yeah. Uncle didn't want to hurt you, but he wanted to help you with your legs, okay? Yeah. Sorry, Mama. Sorry? This particular session was done on a different day, but I just wanted to show you fully what everything involves. Because of her condition, she has what we call scoliosis, meaning she has a curved back. So these forms of exercise improve her posture and balance. Her physical therapy tries to make it as engaging as possible and more exciting such that she doesn't realize that she's in so much pain. Of course, towards the end of the session, she tries to work through with the muscles more and intensify the whole exercise. But that is usually after warming up those muscles and trying to activate the bones as well
What's happening? It's tiny in English. This one. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, that he had. During the session, she's given some intervals of rest. She can't sit on her own, so we give her support to bring her to a sitting this position. Is most, this is the easiest approach. Mm. You just sit beside her mm. and put pressure there, and mm. you work your. He is putting weight on her hip area. Guys, this is the best physical therapist we have ever met. He teaches you everything, he's so engaging, and I really must give credit to him. He has helped Joy a lot. He is now engaging her upper body and trying to make her use her hands as much as possible. Yes, and that is even active, active uh, exercise. Because what we are fighting is massive loss of power. Then comes the most intensive part wow. of the session, and here I must say we have to cry. We really don't have a choice, so we have to get the whole session done. And usually, this is the last part. It's very fast, see, very end, quick, and there. very intense. Thank you. Welcome. Hi, Sela. Hi. Are you okay? Yes. Say bye. Bye.